Hi, THR family. I'm JJ Finley. I'm TA. I'm MC. <laughs> and this is the Homeschooling Roundtable. Yeah, a lot of people think that um, the school system agenda that they're pushing is not a religion. It's not religious at all whatsoever. And people would would push push excuse me push that. However, um, what's the definition of a religion? You know, it's some it's a yeah. belief system. It's something that you believe. Well, what is this um, agenda that they're being you know hammered into all the time? It's a yeah. belief system. And so a lot of times they are still being pushed in religion. You know, people go, well, my child isn't religious. I'm not going to push that on them. Okay, yeah. well, then you're still pushing something on them. What is that? Yeah. You yeah. know, you really want them to grow up and be like, okay, I am I want to be this, this, and this, but, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that's just yeah. my opinion. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those things where if you think about it, it's shaping how they're going to grow up to look like. Yeah. yeah, because they're learning all their social interactions from <clears throat> kids when um, they're in public school. And I know when I'm around my family, I'm learning it from adults. But at right. the same time, I also have interactions with my younger siblings, which right. helps to make me more rounded. And it helps to make everyone who I mean, some families, it's just one kid, which that that happens and that's fine. Yeah. But it typically it just helps to have more people around because then you become a more rounded person because you can relate to people of different ages right. and be able to carry on a good, a quality conversation with them. Right. Yeah. And I think like a humongous stereotype, I know we kind of already said this a little bit, but um, no, not really, uh, is being unsocialized as, you know, homeschoolers. Yes. And, you know, as much as like you we can push and it is really really true that they aren't going to be unsocialized if you are in all these activities you're in co-op you're in like youth yes. group and stuff they won't be however if you are going to pass that over to say like okay we're just going to homeschool we've got this many kids and you know then they're never going to learn outside of the home they're never going to learn yes. that hey it's okay to interact with people not of your siblings or your parents or something yes. you know mm -hmm. they're going to be able to talk and then what do you think is going to happen they are going to turn it kind of unsocialized because yeah. they haven't been able to have those lessons you know hey yes and no if say if we're a youth group or something hey i said this thing it wasn't really nice i'm gonna call them up to you and say i'm sorry yeah well because that's because i learned that at the home but if you're not going to have that you know um, interaction what's going to happen is you are going to get that stereotype of hey mm -hmm. this kid's kind of unsocialized or yeah. socially awkward it's a big yeah. one so yeah well because if you think about it if you spend all your time doing one particular thing in one particular setting you won't know how to interact with others like in the move in the uh, chosen series you have matthew he's very much yeah. the unsocialized yeah. he could right portray a very unsocialized like what you would see in the homeschooling realm but at the same time as you watch as he progresses and he's with people more you see a change a very positive change where yeah. you see he's not so socially inept and he's not so socially awkward yeah 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 and so, it's a lot of times it's something that people grow out of yeah yeah usually. and plus if like let's say that like like let's say that you're um apologizing like you're apologizing to your sisters if you sisters or brothers or whatever but if you're not apologizing to your friends like at like at church or something Mm -hmm. why what what's the difference between apologizing to your sisters and siblings between your friends yeah right it's like um you know that there's a scripture that says basically when god can trust you with the little things he can trust you with much so mm -hmm. if you can't handle i know i'm not perfect at this whatsoever yeah but if you can't handle no one's perfect, yeah no one's perfect right. i know mm -hmm. it's it's like if you can't handle um an argument with your family or an argument with a sister or a brother or something like that and okay how can God expect, okay, you, you're not perfect, you can work on that, but how can God expect you then to be able to go into the workforce, okay? Well, yeah. you want to go into the workforce, how can you, how can you do that if you're still, you know, having a quarrel with your, your sibling? Yeah. <laughs> like, again, it's not, nobody's going to be perfect in that. That's something mm -hmm. that's going to work over time. So, you know, that can really help. Yes. Yeah.